Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and I'm back with a tutorial. I'm sorry I was gone for a little while. I had stuff, life stuff, to take care of. But anyway, I had some uh, questions on how to do kind of a faux blend tool for Photoshop. Uh, if any of you are familiar with Photoshop, you know that it doesn't really have a blend tool. What it does have is a smudge tool. So I'm going to show you how to very quickly and easily make your own uh, blend tool. And for those not really familiar with what I'm talking about in um, Corel or uh, Paint Tool Sci, I'm trying to think of some other art program that uses a blend tool. Well, basically what it allows you to do is blend two colors together. Photoshop has a uh, smudge tool, but this is about the best you can get. It's sort of just like a draggy, smeary... <laughs> not very nice looking blend tool and you can see that it it causes some gray to happen uh, which I think is uh, due to a lack of color information as the tool is working uh, so what I'm going to show you how to do is to very easily make this into more like a blend tool uh, I use this uh, technique a little bit on my binding of Isaac let's draw uh, First, what you want to do is up at the top, there is a bar. You can't see it right now. It's outside of my screen. But you want to turn uh, your smudge tool strength up to, you know, like 80% or 85% somewhere in there. And then the other thing is uh, you can just take a regular old flat round brush, go into your brush settings, click scattering, and you can adjust your scatter to however much you want. There's different settings you can mess with. Yeah, let's not do both axes. Okay. And then uh, you should get, you know, a little bit more of a blending action going on. Like I said, uh, you can keep uh, messing with the settings until you're happy with, uh, you know, you could turn down the hardness. You know, uh, you could really... Uh, take this wherever you want it but this is just to give you an idea how to get there and obviously it's better to work with colors that are uh, they go together <laughs> colors that are a little more in conjunction with each other I mean I guess yeah, let me just change it to something really funky uh, yeah I'll just I think it'll yeah it still looks okay I mean I wouldn't blend teal and brown together, but I'm not as wild as Yin's. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Stop. Okay. <laughs> I made my brush really big to see what would happen. Uh, let's try some other dynamics. Let me uh, turn my hardness back up a little bit. So uh, if you turn your hardness back up and then uh, put on either other dynamics, you kind of get a more like oily blend tool. Um, I don't often use any kind of blending like this. If, if I'm going to go between two colors, I, I prefer to just, you know, do it like that. I just do it manually. But uh, if for folks who do use a lot of blend tool, in like uh, Corel or Paint, paint Tool Sci, this is a, is it Paint Tool Sci? Yeah, it's Paint Tool Sci. This is a good way to uh, mimic that, and I'm sure that people who are more familiar with that tool will know how to adjust it even more to get it to perform similarly uh, in Photoshop. So there you go, there's that tutorial, and I hope to start drawing again for you guys soon. I, I had to do some work uh, that I couldn't record, so tis life. So uh, anyway, I'll see you guys later, all right? Bye.